By kickoff time at the Caledonian Stadium, with the full house signs up, Cali Thistle will want to wipe the Celtic Park story from their minds. But four of the players agreed to rewind the video for Friday's sports scene. With a dodgy start, eh? Sure, we'll yeah, the first pass. Ball, the yeah. first pass. Give the ball, if we kick off, we're under pressure for right. five minutes. It's Charlie yeah. Thrush. Oh. Right. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> for the back, that looked, I thought that had sneaked in for so, the yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Good down, my boy. Good run, pass. Good celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, had you watched, you'll know we're in the front post. <laughs> Did you think at any point, well, we've given them a fight, we've held our heads high, but surely we're not going to actually knock Celtic out of the cup? Yeah, probably when they scored straight away to make it 1-1, I thought, well, we've had our glory, you know, we've held our own, uh, half an hour gone, they've probably gone and win 3 or 4-1 now. But then after the second goal, and then half-time came quite quickly after that, we knew we had a great chance. What about the moment you, you stepped up to take the penalty kick? I mean, what was, what was going through your mind and the rest of your body at that time? I was very nervous. I, that's probably the... Time I noticed the Celtic fans most it seemed to be just one big whistle around the stadium as I was stepping up. But fortunately, Jonathan Gold dived there and I tucked it in. Presumably, that's got to be the the top moment in your football life so far. Yeah, I'm only 20 and uh, I was playing high league four years ago. And if you told me four years ago I'd be beating Celtic and just couldn't believe it, I, I still sort of you know now and then to the meet Celtic last Tuesday, but it's just oh just. Unbelievable. No words can describe it, how well, the boys and myself feel being Celtic. My wee brother was there and the whole family were there. It was about 38 tickets or something I had to buy for them all. So, as Duncan Shearer often says, the caravans were outside. I have to admit, uh, myself and the manager and uh, Duncan Shearer stayed up to about 7 in the morning, um, just sitting quietly drinking in Duncan's house. And then we got up about 9 for breakfast and just started again. But it was... Uh, it was it was, it was good. It was nearly worth the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> has it sunk in that you've made a big slice of football history? I think it has now. It took a few days, but it has now, you know, and now everything's gearing up towards the next round against Aberdeen. And there's a chance here for goal number two. Zerouali, Bernard, there it is! Aberdeen have had a hard time. They're, they look as if they're coming through it now, but... We're at home and there's not many teams really come up to Inverness. You're involved in the commercial side of the club. Um, obviously what happened at Celtic Park and what will happen on Sunday is, is going to help the, the coffers a little bit. Uh, exactly, yeah. The, the um, directors are keeping quiet from the players exactly what it's, it's going to be worth to the club, but it's a welcome boost financially. You know, It's, it's no secret that um, we have a large overdraft you know, and things like this can only help. And again, we've got the share issue. A share issue coming out March-April time and the profile of the club's been raised tenfold in the last week, so that'll help as well. Could you make the quarter-finals? Oh, definitely, yeah. Again, I think the first 20 minutes are going to be vital on Sunday if we can keep tight the first 20 minutes um, and then have, maybe have a go. But one thing's for sure, we will have chances to score. And if they take...